Tea riders are angry over the new fare hikes. Some riders are choosing to sneak on board because they can't afford the fare. So the MBTA is striking back. Unfortunately, that's their goal, and they, they, they want to ride for free, but we just can't afford to have them ride for free. The MBTA is cracking down on fare evaders. The above-ground stations on the Green Line have more passengers skipping their fare than any other line. And at night, people would, who didn't have their tea cards on them would just hop on the back of the train and just run when other people were getting off. And the tea, like the tea conductor would yell at us and be like, hey, come in the front door. And usually I'd go in because I felt really guilty. But I had friends who just never paid on the way home. Sometimes they'll get on the intercom and they'll say, you know, like, please move up to the front of the train, pay your fare. But generally, I mean, nobody, there's not a lot they can do about it, I guess, at some point. So, like, kids generally just don't care and just get on. That is going to change. More tea workers will be at the stations to conduct fare blitzes on the D-line. Riders will only be able to enter the trains through the front door. In all of last year, the MBTA gave out almost 1,000 tickets to fare jumpers. Between January and March of this year, they've already given out 1,500 tickets. We're, we're, we're basically uh, pushing them towards the front door. And then also, too, at stations where it is a robust crowd, we, we are scanning the cards and we can and we'll know that they have uh, either a pass on it or sufficient funds. Colleen Casey says the MBTA's fare blitz slows the process of boarding the trains even more. Um, I don't really like it. I, I think it's kind of a foolish solution. Um, it seems like everyone's kind of cramming or running into the front, and it just seems more like more of a hassle than an easy ride. The MBTA says riders should speak out against fare evaders. Honestly, if they're embarrassed once, maybe they won't do it again, and that's what we're trying to do, and to embarrass them into paying because it's the right thing to do. It's, it's stealing. A ticket for first-time offenders is $15, but the MBTA is asking the state legislature to increase that to $75. People who ignore the ticket cannot renew their driver's license. I'm Kitty O'Donnell, Boston Shatter.